uh, we're going to be doing some canning today. We've got uh, fresh strawberries out of our garden plus some we bought. Lots of raspberries that we've gotten out of our garden. Some cherries that we uh, picked up in Door County last year have been frozen. We're going to make uh, some jam uh, this afternoon. And last time we did it, we uh, used Maria's mixer and uh, the liquid from the tomatoes went back up in uh, the motor area. So we have decided that we will not use that anymore for straining seeds. So I did a little tiny bit of research and I came up with this, the Weston, um, what is it called? Let's see here, tomato strainer. Uh, but it also does, we got an accessory kit, so it has pumpkin seeds, raspberry seeds, etc. So we can use this for a little bit of everything. A salsa screen to make a chunky puree for salsa. Uh, a grape spiral to make juices and jellies, a uh, pumpkin screen, a uh, berry screen, remove seeds from berries, so that'd be like for our raspberries today, or even I guess you could use it for blackberries, strawberries, etc. We're going to unbox, see what we got. This um, stainless steel be easy to clean. This was about $129.99, and this one, this accessory kit, was $34.50. $34 so, let's see what we got here. And how to assemble the whole thing. All right. Oh, wood uh, masher to push it down through. Nice. Miscellaneous boxes. We'll just throw that stuff over there. Alright. So that's it. It looks pretty simple. Alright. Alright, so we'll start like this. Set all these boxes here off to the side. Hmm. It's a big hopper. All stainless, nice. And then this is um, vacuum or a suction seal on your counter or it has a, a clamp which I'm guessing must be in one of the boxes it has the suction lever the screws are loose back here so I'm not sure why uh, maybe something fits on here I think so we can tighten it down it appears that you need to lift this up a little bit and then do it so let me turn it this way you can see it's kind of squared so if you pull up then you can Press it down. Well, it doesn't seem that reliable yet. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Yep. Just uh, takes a little manipulating, but it feels pretty strong. All right, let's look at this and see what we need to do. All right. Assembly instructions. Let's open everything up. Definitely be careful in assembling it because uh, in here there's a rubber gasket that uh, I would imagine goes inside here, but we'll find out for sure in a minute. But um, could easily get lost in the packaging. Nothing else in there. Okay, so we have a small cut of some sort.
There's some sort of a um, shield. Uh, this is the probably goes on top of the yeah, will go on top of this, I bet. This is the uh, chute where everything comes out. Okay. The really nice thing is almost everything is stainless except for this. Uh, so all of these other pieces, it looks like you can put them in the dishwasher. We'll have to check that in the instructions to make sure, but it appear to be so. Here's the spiral. And this is the clamp. This would fit in a notch here and go on the counter like this, which would hold it. So that's another option for um, that. This is going to be, this is anything like the one on the uh, blender. This will be the drive shaft and the crank. So, all right, so we have all of that. All right, so now we need to get a little couple of drops of vegetable oil to put on the rubber drive shaft o ring which would be this o-ring here so we need a little bit of a uh, vegetable oil so we'll stop for one second and get that all right so we have a little just need a little touch of olive oil here or, i'm sorry vegetable oil all guessing maybe it would be useful to do this every time you use it perhaps just to um, make everything lubricate properly. Alright, so we have lubricated. Um, to ensure the drive shaft and the drive shaft o-ring shell are in place on the drive shaft. That's good. Pre it comes pre-assembled. Insert the screen gas at 18 into the large end making sure the gasket is under the thumb screw. So the thumb screw is here, and that's exactly what I thought. It goes underneath here, like that. So the gasket is in there. All right, so now we will slide the red plastic spiral onto the drive shaft and over the spring. So looks like it will go this way. Yep. All right. Be sure to match the flat side on the. Uh, ah. So if you look in here, there's a flat, like a square rectangular hole here, that. So that should match. That's very easy to assemble. All right. So then uh, we want to put this onto here. And then this goes in here. Ah, okay. Okay, so this goes in. So we have, this goes in as we discussed, all right, then this goes over that, and then this will fit inside here, and then it has a couple of notches here, and you can see here on the top it says off on, turning on that way, so these here line up, and we were trying to get it on a second ago, you need to unscrew this almost all the way so that it doesn't impede it at all. And then once you do that, and then because it uh, has a little bevel to it, it will tighten up nicely. And then tighten down the thumb screw 
on the side and that locks it all into place. Alright, so now let's see, tighten the screen thumb screw, All right. finger, finger tighten it only. Um, do not operate it when it is empty, it says. The juice and uh, from the fruit or vegetable will act as a lubricant and reduce wear. So they don't really recommend you using it without the um, stuff in it. So this is for tomatoes. At this point you can attach the tomato press and sauce maker to your workspace. Utilizing the suction cup, be sure to adhere to a smooth, clean, and dry. Simply raise the suction cup lever and hold the thing in place. So yeah, you need to pull it up and then over like I was doing. All right, so see, and it's uh, already, I don't think it'll work very well on this Formica. I think, let's try, probably need a, a better surface than that. So we're gonna clamp it on here. So if the suction cup doesn't adhere well, just use the clamp and attach it. And this seems to work really very sturdy. All right. So then, let's see here. Utilizing the C-clamp, we did that. Slide the handle. Attach the waste funnel to the end of the screen by pushing the small tabs over. Uh, so it goes this way. Okay. you put that on there. Okay, so it's just going to sit there like that. So you would have, and you can tilt this down so it slides out good. Then uh, your waste will come out here. You have a some type of a small bowl. And then this will go on top for funneling it in. And this will fit in here. And then okay, seems to work pretty well. So that's putting it all together, and um, we are going to now clean it, and then we'll be back with uh, some actual straining of uh, some berries, I believe, right? All Rest berries, raspberries. raspberries. So we'll do some raspberries with it today. Oh, let me, uh, almost forgot. We haven't opened up the, uh, let me get this out of the way. Let's open up this um, accessory kit. Let's see what we got there. But so far it seems pretty nice. Uh, not sure. We'll see how it handles. But, uh, and it says here again, do not turn the handle without food in the hopper. Damage to the screen and spiral may occur. So I think basically it's it feels pretty tight. I think it's going to just grind away at the um, the plastic. So we won't do that. So let's see what we got in here. But basically it's a pretty basic system. So, this one comes with another spiral, which fits these. These are a little bit different shape than the other one. So, which is... This one. So, the biggest one is salsa to make a chunky salsa. So... That's your salsa screen. 
we will later um, in the future try to do a video with each of the different screens and once again every one of these has the gasket so be careful don't throw them away they're not always this one's in this one was not so they're very loose little uh, silicone gaskets so, and they all fit the same they have the same two knobs uh, or notches and then the set screw which if you can see here uh, I had to pull it out to about here you can because it comes out on this side you can make it pretty much flush tighten it and then thumb tighten it down not don't over tighten it So I believe this might be the one we'll be using today because that's the tomato one. So this is the berry one, very fine. And then it comes with a different. Now the other one is a, a different. Oh, goodness gracious! Lots of little uh, pieces uh, from where they cut it, I guess. And there's little red. Plastic everywhere. <laughs> All right, so we'll have to clean that up. But yeah, you can see. Take this back off. The only thing I think is that the um, it feels a little flimsy, but it doesn't have any strain on it, so I think it's okay. Yeah. So you can see here. Look at the difference. This is very similar but this is way longer has a whole different shape to it you can see here so this is a little bit uh, coarser this one starts off really coarse and ends up really fine to really squeeze the last of the tomato out you can see these things are everywhere okay so I think we're gonna wash and then uh, we'll be back with uh, some berries all right okay hi <laughs> we're going to uh, set it up and we're going to uh, do some berries is this all the berries the one that i'm clean clean so this is all we're going to do today yeah I think. okay all right so first i'm going to do i'm going to do it like this this is a little different than uh, for me i would rather have it anchored first so And plus this side of our counter is more square where this has a little bit of a, a rise on it. So I feel like this is pretty stable. You remember a little oil. So since we've washed it since last time, I'm going to put just a touch. Uh, there we go. All right. It's just a little slow. So we're going to oil this again. Just for lubrication. Okay, so we're good with that. Next, we have this. If you remember, we'll put the um, square part in. Okay, then we have our gasket. And we're using the berry strainer, which is in the uh, extra attachments. So it doesn't, does not come with this. The other thing I was going to mention, it just occurred to me earlier. When you go to wash these things, make sure you put this screw all the way in. Um, so it doesn't fall out and go down the sink. Or take it out completely if you're not going to lose it. So just a thought. Because it will not be good if it disappears. Clearly. I know it says to do it the other way, but I think for me, I would rather do it like this. And then there's writing on this, off on, that should be on the top. And then as you put it on, you just want to kind of make sure you get the um, gasket correct. And then line up this. And then twist it so it tightens down, feels secure. Screw that down. 
Then I'm going to take this. This goes on here like this. Then this one you can see slots. So we are going to put that on there like that. The only thing I don't like about this so far is this, this attachment. I don't feel like it, uh, it does a very good job. Maybe it does. Hmm. It's a little difficult to... Uh, Okay, there it goes. It's just a little finicky. And then you can tilt it down a little bit to help. So then we're going to put product in here. So we'll put this up here. And then hand me the other basket. We'll put this over here to catch the stuff that comes out. Put our crank on it. Okay. Nice big uh, bin, so this is really nice. Normally they're much smaller, harder to do. Right. I'll put all the berries because this is big. Okay. Now then. Yeah. All right. Easy to turn because it's not, uh, you do need to push them in. That's a lot of seeds, honey. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Okay. You ever wonder how many seeds are in the raspberries? <laughs> They're all seeds. <laughs> what is the caution there? Do not use. Don't turn it with it empty. It's easy to turn. It's really, I mean, it's just. <laughs> I mean, really, really uh, easy. I'll take it off. Did they do it again? Yeah. We'll run it through again. Okay. Well, my verdict is that this is really easy. Compared and, to the, and the uh, fact that when kitchen you, aid? Yeah. And, uh, the only thing I don't like so far is there seems to be a, a portion of it that's just not going through the uh, mill, but it's only a little portion. And then once you're done, take this off and uh, what there's a little bit behind, you can uh, just kind of move that over and let the um, spiral catch it so you get most of it out. Very little is left. I mean, obviously, if you were doing tomatoes or something, I, you wouldn't hardly care about this. The only reason we're really trying to get every little bit is because raspberries are small and everything. But it looks good. 
Mm. Let's see. Let me take this off. There is a um, spatula. Well, what I would say so far is this thing works really well. I mean, uh, definitely better than the um, like. than the um, your mixer. Not only that, the one that it's. Uh, yeah, and then you've got the other one, the the old 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 one, the cheap one. That's yeah, it's definitely better than that. I mean, this is really nice and rich. There's no seeds. Once you make the uh, jam, this is going to be really good, I think. Right? Yep. Yeah. That's it. Before that, we're going to get some seeds. And it, there's a little bit of mess, obviously, but not too bad. And uh, you know, relatively easy to clean up, I think. We'll take this over to the sink. To uh, disassemble it, I think it'll be better. So in conclusion, we are very, very happy with this uh, unit. It uh, does its job. It's very easy to turn. It's easy to use. Uh, we uh, are uh, going to continue to use it. We definitely recommend it. Easy to use, easy to clean, everything you could want, and uh, no seeds. So that's it. Take care. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.